So our next step is we need to add steering. So we're going to take and duplicate a chunk of code. I'm going to go, actually, we're going to take the control. If we can steal the key pressed block, and we're going to do if right arrow is pressed motion, we're going to turn, say, three degrees. And we're going to add left arrow pressed and negative three degrees. Right click, clean up blocks, and let's test this out. If only we're off the edge of the screen, feels pretty good. Now, the only thing a little weird here is that if I, I shouldn't be able to turn unless I'm moving forward or backwards. So let's add an extra check. So we're going to do this. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry that. Duplicate this. So I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that. So if the right arrow is pressed and speed um, duplicate and speed equals zero, so I'm at the opposite of that. So we're going to go not. So if my speed. And now I can duplicate this block and change the left arrow. Now, oh, we need to make sure when we start our cars point to the right direction. So we're going to go point in direction 9B. Okay. I can reverse, fine. Let's move that moving, I can't turn. So. so now I have a car that basically behaves like a real car. Oh, except. So I think we're going to scale our car down a hair more. So we're going to go down to maybe, let's try 15%. A little better. And he's accelerating a little fast, so maybe we can take and slow down his speed. So let's make the speed by one. And let's do, change the friction to negative... Point five. And again, fifteen is kind of fast, so we will take to stop speed down to ten. Let's see how that feels. We need to make those agree. That feels more manageable. I'm not running to the walls all the time. So in the next video, let's start adding roads or a path for the car to follow. Then we'll be doing that with backgrounds. So right now I'm going to hit, I'm going to stop this video.